that uh, let's have a slightly finer brush and let's do more details. I'll have a little bit of black in the middle of this eye. And just around it, so it looks more crisp. It's just a simple black wash, really. There, you see? Much better. Same thing here. A wash around that. And the central slit so to speak. The central slit is done with paint that's not too dilute. There. And those little eyes here as well. They need it. Even though they're not as, you know, light. There. I think it needs a little more of the orange and uh, I think yes oh yes indeed more orange on top of the eye because the black has of course tinted everything and a little bit of red because it's red in the middle. You know, to obtain a nice effect, you must come back to it often. That's uh, how it's done. <laughs> right. And now, here. See? That's pretty nice. You may have noticed that I'm not painting all of this wonderful, wonderful miniature. That's because I'll finish it up later. It's quite big and there's no point in showing you the same thing, you know, a hundred times on every limb. Uh, so I'm just doing some part of it. I'll finish it up later and you'll see photos of it later on and perhaps even a 360, you know. Now, I think I'm going to do the cape. The cape will be done with uh, I think secret weapon washes. That will be very dashing. I'll do the cape here. Oh yes. Oh, it's nice. I'll do that with a wash of purple. Prop some of it here. Oh dear, that's perhaps a bit much. I'll use it undiluted, at least for now, because, uh, well, maybe it's just, uh, just the water that's on my palette, really, but that's pretty much undilute, because the secret weapon washes are, well, that's what they're made for, really. I know purple isn't particularly in the uh, Black Legion color scheme. And some of you might cry heresy, which would be appropriate after all, since this is uh, Horus's Legion, I think. S but uh, I know it, it's, it's not exactly the Black Legion's color scheme, but uh, I like purple and uh, it is very chaosy. The other side of the cape will be purple as well. At least the parts that we can see. I'm using the uh, the secret weapon washes because I like them. Because they're better than the Games Workshop ones, in my opinion. And because I want to see the pre-shading underneath that cape. A cape is uh, 
notoriously hard to do all those creases and folds you know so anything you can do to ease the pain is is good in my book I mean I love doing capes but even so it's pretty pretty tough on large billowy capes like this one with long and long folds uh, parallel side by side with little details here and there it's a bit it's a bit of a hassle you know highlighting long thin strips you know one by one so I pre-shade and uh, I use washes or very dilute paint that's uh, that gives a good result usually just look at that hmm? isn't it nice I'll let it dry a bit in the meantime I'm going to do the fur on top of that cape and I will use there I will use a um, I think a uh, yes I'll use the monster brown the monster brown from the army painter is a nice little paint here see nice straightforward earthy brown monster brown I think it's uh, bestial brown in uh, no it's not bestial brown it's uh, some sort of leathery color or I know it's um, somewhat like earth brown a little more subdued than earth brown earth brown is in the Vallejo range it's like beast hide in p3 in the p3 range any type of brown will do anyway this is uh, this is uh, just the, the brown I've chosen for the fur because it's reasonably neutral and it will go very well with both the purple and the gold I'm trying to get a little harmony going here this is a uh, some sort of a glaze I'm glazing over the fur which means I'm barely touching the black parts and uh, I'm tinting the white and the grey parts that have been pre-shaded or pre-lighted should I say the only thing I have to say about this fur is that it's pretty nice you know but that it still resembles you know those little tufts, tufts of hair resemble leaves they also resemble little um, peppers or things like that that's that's the best you can do with plastics but I still prefer fur that are a little more finely sculpted and uh, that resemble w w that, that have actual strands instead of um, little tufts or seeming tufts that look more like fruit than anything it's a bit uh, this is a bit cartoony or possibly teddy bearish there that's our monster brown now still on the fur I'll do a wash of oak brown oak brown is here let me show you there this is what I'll use much better that there's too much thinner in there so the oak brown oak brown is uh, akin to um, umbral umber perhaps a little warmer umbral umber in the p3 range it's also akin to some form of chocolate brown it's a dark brown basically having a wash of it 
especially on the darker parts here talk about the fur and here because I think here it needs a little bit of um, shading here we are not too bad No, oh, I see. The fur needs a little bit more highlights. I should think. Yes, um, more of the ivory. You've seen the ivory. You've seen the ivory plenty of times. But I'll show it to you anyway. I already have some on my palette, but it has dried somewhat because uh, this bit of the palette isn't uh, as wet as the rest, as you can see. Just put more here, where it's wetter. That way it won't dry on me. I'll use that color, and I'll use a little bit of the monster brown. Here. and I'll mix it in with the ivory so as to highlight my fur a little. I won't put too much paint on my brush, it will be slightly transparent, meaning slightly dilute. And I'll just go over some of the little tufts here and there one by one we are not in any hurry you could always dry brush but uh, quite frankly this gives out much better results I'll do a few at a time at the side of my brush here because because I can. And there. See, I'm not doing all of it, just the top where the light hits. And I think that's the fur done. Now, for our next trick, we'll do a wash of amethyst on the cape, since the other wash has dried. little darker. It's another secret, we secret weapon wash. The first wash was purple. I think you could uh, use leash purple if you don't have any of the secret weapon wash washes at home. Um, this darker purple is um, deeper. You do well to mix it yourself with, uh, with a bit of uh, Patience. I think you could use uh, Exile Blue from Privateer Press or Necron Abyss from Games Workshop. And, um, or maybe some Prussian Blue or Night Blue from Vallejo. And uh, either Hull Red, my favorite, or well, uh, perhaps a deep red, like Dragon Red from the Army Painter, Scorn Red from P3, Sanguine Base from P3 as well, and uh, there's a there's a deep Games Workshop red, no no question about it. I just don't remember the name. It's in the Foundation range, so it's a bit thick, which is nice. You could use terracotta from Games Workshop as well. Here I'm washing the folds and the interior of the cape with this amethyst. Somehow the 
top of the cape here is less slit than the bottom. And why is that? Well, on this miniature the cape is pretty much straight, almost, but on most miniatures, and somewhat on this miniature as well, uh, capes always flow backwards, so the capes are uh, that way, you know, the, the, the miniature being here, the cape is that way, you know, so the bottom catches more light than the top, which is very much more vertical, it's a bit concave, and uh, in that case, well, there's also a little overhang of the fur, so it casts a, perhaps a little shadow. So the bottom of the cape is actually much more lit than the top of the cape, which is slightly counterintuitive. But uh, trust me on this one, it's more beautiful, and more realistic, and also it allows you to light more of it. So it's a win-win situation, basically. I'll do another wash of the purple on the edges here. The secret weapon washes are not opaque, so we are not trying to give opacity to the scape, just to tint the pre-shading. That is, uh, by the way, textu textured enough that it uh, really isn't too bad. I suppose you could reach opacity with many, many coats of the secret weapon washers, but that's really not what they're for. I'll put a little more amethyst behind there, in the dark, because the amethyst is a little richer and also a little darker. Mm -hmm.